At first glance, everything appears normal. An Uda single cell element is being assembled, the membrane installed. However, there's something special here. The spacers are missing. The cathode. Here too, no spacers. The membrane lies flat on the anode and cathode. The membrane surface can be active over the whole area. A long development process has finally achieved its aim. For the first time, UDA single cell elements of generation 6 are swinging into the client's electrolyzer. Initially, it doesn't appear so dramatically different. They could just as easily be third, fourth or fifth generation elements. The basic advantages of single element technology are simply self-evident. Generation 6 elements underline the strong points even more. Just a small detail on the outside of the cell element shows how a whole bunch of individual solutions can bring out the maximum performance of the zero-gap system. The cell elements move on small rollers. Frictional resistance is reduced. That means the elements can be pressed together more easily and thus more evenly. The top priority with zero gap, maximum utilization of the membrane capacity. This component also plays a part in that, the elastic element. Based on a long-standing patent of ThyssenKrupp Uda chlorine engineers, it was developed to production maturity for zero gap. Fine nickel wire, skillfully interwoven and folded, now does something it normally doesn't do. It acts as a spring it becomes elastic. Similar to the elastic element which has proved itself in our NACL ODC cell elements as well. The basic fundamental for even pressure over the whole surface of the membrane, over every square centimeter. With the latest high performance coating from Industrie de Nora, the cathode, a woven mesh, ensures that cathodic surge voltage is kept to a minimum. Assembly, simply connect everything. So much for the main new components. However, the most important factor is, only with the UDA single cell element design is it possible to adjust the sealing of every single element and the surface pressure of all elastic elements independently. Every individual cell element is a completely standalone system. A sealing cord is bonded to the anode and cathode. Positioned between the two is a TFM frame gasket and, of course, the membrane. The solid bolt connection presses the sealing system together in a controlled manner so that a pressure resistance of up to 4.7 bar G is achieved. With firmly connected components inside and with secure sealing, the UDA single cell elements can be calmly lined up in the electrolyzer. The main focus now is on optimizing the compression. For a uniform power distribution and thus a low voltage, the surface pressure of the elastic elements on the membrane inside the cell elements must be adjusted to a defined point we've developed a system which makes it easy to achieve this. The first UDA single cell element of generation 6 was installed in a plant for Chemical Industries Far East Limited, located in Singapore. Here, energy costs are extremely high. The client can look forward to significant savings in energy costs, the consumption of the new UDA Generation 6 technology at startup was just 2,035 kilowatt hours per metric ton of NaOH. UDA single cell elements, Generation 6.